You know, in a lot of videos, I say a lot of things about a lot of people and a lot of products. In fact, a lot of people in the gun community do. We ball bust. We shit talk each other. Uh, a lot of times we use sarcasm or humor. But I have found that even though I think I make it obvious when I'm being sarcastic or being humorous, uh, to some people, you know, not so obvious, you know. So I think I needed to make a video today to point out some things about the gun community and to make some statements to people in the gun community. Something that doesn't contain any sarcasm. It doesn't contain any uh, pretext. It doesn't have any reading between the lines. It's just saying things outright, which I do sometimes in videos also. And I've made a video similar to this one in the past, but I think it's time to make one again and a little more in depth. Uh, like I was saying earlier, part of the gun community is shit-talking and ball-busting. Uh, you might not like that, but that's just the way it is. The, the gun community is made up a lot of guys, uh, especially on YouTube. It's mostly men. There are some women too, but it's mostly a group of men. It's like a locker room mentality, uh, especially when a lot of us have been in the military and ball-busting is a big part of that culture. So we say things about each other or to each other that we don't mean. Like when I say something like, you know, Tim from Military Arms Channel is a terrible lay. You know, I don't mean that. I'm not trying to be uh, hostile towards him or to imply anything negative. I don't mean it at all. Tim is a perfectly fine lay. And I think most people know that. But some people don't seem to be able to tell that that's, you know, not something we actually mean. It's just a little bit of shit talking. Uh, we do the same thing with products. You know, if we say something like when someone buys a new 9mm, we go, huh, did that come with a uh, free box of tampons? You know, we don't mean anything by that. We know it didn't. We know they had to buy their own tampons. But it's ball busting. It's fun. If we say something about, oh, that guy carries a 1911, so you know he spends most of his day telling youngsters to pull up their britches. You know, we don't mean anything by it. It's just fun. Uh, so sometimes people can't tell, do these people like each other? Or do they not like each other? No, we usually like each other if we bust each other's balls. The people I don't really like, I just don't mention them. They just don't become part of my life unless I think it's important to call them out on things they're doing that are negative, that are truly negative. So I wanted to make this video today, like I said, with none of that. None of that ball busting, no shit talking, none of that. Just actual seriousness. And in all seriousness, there's two things I really want to say to people in the gun community. The first thing is I want to say to people in the gun community, whether you've been here for years or whether you're new, whether you just found one of us on YouTube and you're just getting into the Second Amendment lifestyle, I want to say to you people, understand that it's great to enjoy the shoot 'em up videos and the blowing stuff up videos, but if you really want to continue to be able to enjoy that stuff, that's not what the Second Amendment is about. It's not about sports shooting. It's not about hunting. It's not even about just personal defense. It's about maintaining a way of life in this country. It is about defending the freedoms we enjoy as citizens. And you have to be willing to fight for that. If you want to come into the community and enjoy the community, understand that it's something you're going to have to fight for. Understand that from the beginning. It doesn't mean you have to be at every rally. It doesn't mean you have to spend tons of money on uh, anything. It just means you have to be willing to stand up occasionally and fight. Be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And do not be fooled by people who I am not shit-talking or ball-busting here. I am legitimately calling out Coley and Noir or Hickok 45 or the NRA that tell you ridiculous things just to make a buck. Like, it's okay if we pass laws that circumvent due process as far as firearm seizures are concerned. It's okay. Don't worry about that. Or when they say things like, oh, it's okay when we compromise and allow the government to arbitrarily decide what we can own as far as accessories go for our firearms. So don't worry about things like bump stocks. Or, oh, don't worry about, you know, uh, expanded background checks and things like that. They don't affect me, you know, upper middle class white male like Hickok 45 or uh, a well-connected NRA employee like Coley on Noir. 
They don't affect them, so they try to convince you it doesn't affect you either. That's bullshit. If you want to be a member of this community and you want to be a responsible member of this community, understand that the rights we enjoy didn't come free and it's not free to keep them. We have to continue fighting for them. We are constantly under attack by people like Feinstein, Pelosi, and even Trump and the NRA. The NRA has to maintain the fight so that they can continue to make money. So don't be fooled by those people. Come into it. I don't care what part of it that you most enjoy. If you like watching someone just blow up washing machines with Tannerite, more power to you. If you like watching someone shoot at the same targets a billion times and tell you nothing about the gun, really, more power to you. But understand that that's not what the gun community about is about, and that's not what the Second Amendment is about. The Second Amendment is about the freedom of the people in this country and the way that we maintain that freedom. The Second Amendment is the right that defends all the other rights, and it's therefore probably the most important right we have. And I want everyone to understand that, like I said, whether you've been here for years or you're new to the fold. And the other thing I want to tell people is, if we talk shit about your caliber, if we talk shit about your choice of guns, we really don't care. <laughs> you know, uh, it's not something that we really are looking down upon you about. If we say something negative about nine millimeter, we really don't care if you carry a nine millimeter. We really don't think it's ineffective. If you carry a kel I really don't care. Now, I might try to convince you to carry something I think is better, but the very fact that you're carrying that kel means you have taken personal responsibility, that you understand the importance of being able to defend yourself and your family, whether you carry it every day or you just keep it in your car or just have a gun at home because you understand the importance of the Second Amendment. If you do that, everything else is minutia. Everything else is irrelevant. It's just opinion and it's just fun. It's playing around. If I make fun of your Glock, it's in fun. If I say something to uh, incite a reaction from people who like 45 ACP, it's usually sarcasm and it's intended as a little bit of levity. It's intended as satire. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't seem capable of understanding satire, but that's okay. It's a complicated uh, uh, idea, satire is. But just understand that. Don't be like, oh, no one's going to accept me in the gun community because I carry a kel 380 or I just carry a 380, period. Uh, that's not the way it is. If you are inside the tent of the pro-Second Amendment people and you and I are arguing about your kel that argument is really irrelevant. It's about a tiny little thing. The fact that you're in the tent is all that matters. The fact that you are someone that understands what the Second Amendment is about and you exercise your rights. Even if you don't exercise your rights, if you're someone that's in the tent of the pro-Second Amendment people and you're like, I fully support the Second Amendment and having guns, I just don't want to carry one. More power to you. I really am not going to look down on you for that decision. The fact that you're in the tent, like I said, is enough. So if you're someone out there who doesn't understand, like, why do these people say things to each other or bad things about each other? It's fun. It makes the whole thing enjoyable. Why do they say satirical things or why do they say sarcastic things? Because it keeps it from being boring. You know, we have to keep people's interest and keep them interested in the Second Amendment and keep them fighting. So ball busting, shit talking, that's always going to be a part of gun channels. I can't see that ever going away. Uh, hopefully most people understand that. Those that don't, hopefully you can live with it and maybe even start to understand it. And as far as your gun choice goes or your preference in caliber, etc., all of those are tiny little disagreements that we love to have every day. We like those disagreements. Now, there are exceptions like Springfield Armory where we won't, don't want to buy their products because they are traitors to the Second Amendment also. That's a little different. But we're not saying the product is bad. I'll be the first to admit the products from them are great. Their 1911s are great. I just wouldn't buy one because of who they are. That's not uh, goofing around. That's not shit talking. That's not ball busting. That's calling them for their uh, actions, calling them out for their actions. So, like I said, just understand that. Understand what the second's about. Be willing to fight for it. And understand that it's mostly fun and games. Most of the things we talk about don't really matter. The fact that you're in the right camp, that you're inside the tent, doesn't matter what you carry, doesn't matter what caliber you like. We're just going to have fun talking about it. We're going to have fun giving each other shit about it. But in the end, it doesn't really matter.